Alright, so welcome back. Hoping you're having a fabulous day here today. I did want to talk about a few things you know with Dorothy um, and get these out of the way and how to kind of take care of the character, the best way to equip uh, what cube and build the character. Today, let's talk about that. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. I uh, appreciate all the support recently. We're almost there to 8k subscribers. So if you would like to help out, it means a lot. So first, we'll start off with this. I do want to make it clear that Dorothy is not at full capacity right now. If you are closer to endgame or maybe you've just unlocked Special Interception uh, or you're well into it, you will understand that there is a note here that is super important to understand maybe why your Dorothy is not doing what she's supposed to be doing, right? So the attack bonus entry of T10 equipment doesn't affect on brand on Dorothy's burst skill. So again, there is a problem with the gear according to her skill. So realize that when you do all that damage, it's not getting that extra percentage that you're getting from said gear. So again, read through these notes. There are a few things that are broken. So just make sure you at least know that. And yes, your Dorothy might not be competing against, you know, like your other characters that you're trying to test due to the fact that those characters may have that gear working and Dorothy doesn't. So realize that after this goes into effect and it gets fixed, your Dorothy will probably do better. So if you are hitting low damage or, you know, it's a little bit weird while you're not getting a percentage because you equip this set of gear, it's due to the fact that that is in the background uh, ruining the character or rather bugging out the character, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, yes, I see people comparing heavily to Litter, but you have to understand two different characters and one is probably heavily built. You probably built Litter pretty well, Max Rod potentially duped her, Compared to uh, Dorothy, you gotta let two characters slide, let her get built, and you will see she is very, very good, okay? Next up, I wanted to talk about the kit here so you at least understand how to handle this character. Uh, realize now on the cube. The cube is like the number one question I have been getting, and the reason um, I wanted to wait on it is I wanted to test myself. I did see a community opinion flow around, but I wanted to test myself before I give you any answer, and it's, it's, it's a fact, resilience cube, is the best cube there's no way around it i do recommend to level it up as you uh, as you go through and if you can it will make the cube so much better but in comparison to the other cubes i personally think that this is the best one um like again assault cube not really uns onslaught cube not really bastion cube not really i think resilience is where it's at due to the fact that this character relies on getting the last bullet out of her clip then the buffs come into effect right so it says activates when firing the last bullet affects all allies now if you can get to each point where you can reload or get to that last bullet then that means that your character is buffing more than is supposed to be right so let's say you're running on was it the onslaught or assault cube doing whatever whatever but you're not getting this buff and this buff is huge getting a cooldown burst um of 1.3 seconds is great and then when in the manifestation state, you're also getting another buff there. When attacking part of an enemy, damage dealt to that part is up for that much time. So every time you're able to proc this faster, it is better in the background and it will be causing you to do more damage. Like if I were to do a damage test between that, which I can show you and I want to show you, uh, compared to Assault Cube and that cube, there is a significant difference due to the fact that you're proccing a passive like Skill 1, which is somewhat game-changing uh, in the area of you know, I, I would say significantly faster, significantly faster, right? So if you were to build this character, that is the way to lean on it. Um, and again, as always, you go for skills, you level up your skills accordingly um, as much as you can, do the rest of it normally. Um, when it comes to team building, right? If you team this up, again, you have to remove litter. That's obvious, you know, basically known. You equip this with some damage dealers, for example, you throw on Snow White, you throw on uh, Scarlet, you throw on anyone like that, you have some pretty decent team comps. Um, and for bosses, right? Dorothy is an outstanding support, and I'm, gonna not, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I wanna tell you the truth, for Modernia, I've been getting a little bit more wrecked here and there. I swapped Dorothy in and I swapped another character in, which is Noise, and I was able to do a really fast clear on it, which I was genuinely shocked that it was that good. So I do have to say that if you want to, some of the character go for it. But again, I want to make it clear that should not peer pressure you to lose what you want in near if that is the collaboration that you're looking for. Remember this, Dorothy will always be here. You can always pull for her. But if near is like your fan favorite thing, like you love it more than anything, don't dare, you know, suffer for this just to lose out on that. Go for what you want, though she is a great character and though I recommend it, that is not a forceful statement making you go for it. Good? good but again what i'll do first for you is i'll trade this off i will put on a level two assault cube and then i'll put on the level three resilience cube and you'll see a huge difference when it comes to her damage compared to not her damage so let me just show that to you real quick so here we go this is what it looks like with assault cube you did pop off with a 7.3 million remember the overall damage is going to be lower at 48 million due to the fact that you're not being able to proc that a little bit faster and the goal is to proc that faster so hence the reason 
you should run Resilience Cube. Now let's do Resilience Cube and just show you a little bit of a damage difference. And then in comparison here, Dorothy did hit for 8.7 million. Modernia went to, what is it, 21, 7.3, 3.2. Uh, but again, mainly Resilience Cube is where it's at in comparison to the other uh, cubes. So again, run that. There is a cube that increases your max ammo capacity. Please don't run that. Please don't run. I think it's like the Wingman or something like that. Don't don't run that. Do not, because that's literally losing her skill one, which is the stupidest thing you could ever do. So resilience cube it is. Run that for the best effects, in my opinion. But yeah, when it comes to the uh, character itself, again, people were asking me like, what skills do they aim for first? Uh, personally, the burst skill is the star of the show, so you really want to aim for that. I still do believe both of them are really strong, also. But um, it it really depends. I would just again aim burst, go upwards. Uh, rather burst one this right, so aim for this last. I think that the top first one and this one are really important. This is also really good. So it just if you can upgrade them all equally, go for it. But definitely at the end of the day, uh, the burst skill is the star of the show. And that brand is huge. Like when you actually get into a game and you see that brand kick off and like the damage that applies across the board, it is nuts what this character is capable of. So again, at the end of the day, don't let this peer pressure you as always into summoning for this character. But it is a great banner and you have to know that no, this is not being overly hyped up. And no, this is not people just saying this for the sake of saying it this character is strong and in future content and as time progresses you will see how much better this character gets when more team comps are designed and she is able to start with both dps and support you'll understand why people are telling you that this is a great character so uh, at the end of the day up to you which one do but again the way that i would do it is aim for the burst skill level that up again the materials are harder to come by uh, always take care of your uh, of your simulation room whenever it kicks off full burst day please have fun with that it is stupid to miss out on those mats always when an event kicks off get the skill manuals so that you're able to do this and if ever a skill reset token kicks up in the mail always take advantage of that and be able to reset a character you no longer care for or you no longer use or stupidly you put materials into a said character that isn't meta or isn't good uh, and you want to reset that for this character always realize those are options uh, so that you're able to at least max out the character if you would like to but um from testing outstanding character there's a lot you can do uh, for team building and everything i'll talk about that in a separate video but again Aim for Resilience Cube, aim for uh, leveling up the Burst Skill first. That is probably the best, best thing you can ever do. Uh, this character is very, very well made, and I think that she is worthy of the title as Half Anniversary. Though, again, people are saying otherwise across Discord, across Reddit, across my comments, saying, oh, she's kind of underwhelming, I expected more. But you have to understand that, you know, maybe you didn't build her properly. Maybe you took too long to, uh, or rather, you took so much effort into litter, uh, and she is just broken in comparison to a day one character. Uh, you have to know that time will make the character better as you level up and as you build out the character. I also aim for the uh, rank ups on her affinity. The only thing you really benefit when you uh, limit break the character is also that and extra stats. So again, if you are still chasing the, uh, the dupes for her, could help you, but I think that at one dupe, or rather at free to play status with no dupes, it is a strong character regardless of anything. So chasing doesn't really have to happen. Fully up to you though. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, you'll see what happens um, as again, time progresses. But that's just a little bit of a guide, a little bit of a tip here and there. I also did want to mention, and I did mention this in my last video, but when you are damage testing the character, I do highly recommend uh, at the end of the day to always, and whenever you play content, to always use Dorothy or rather, you know, manual play her instead of autoing. Manual play for Dorothy is huge, and it is a massive difference in the amount of damage you'll actually pop off with. So realize at the end of the day that try it, you know, where you actually play the character. Uh, some of the characters like Litter or some of the characters like Snipers, they, you know, kind of prefer to be on auto because, you know, you know, there's no uh, human error or delays in shooting one of the shots to uh, be able to get the passes, you know, proc or whatever. But for Dorothy, I think that it is better and extensively better to run manual because you will be hitting so much more damage. And I think the ceiling with her is much higher versus auto and manual. Though again, with other characters, it is similar. But I just want to mention that as I did in my last video, it is a huge difference in how much you can put up uh, with it. Okay, so... At the end of the day, just a quick little guide here. I want to talk about that, how you can build her, and just to know that there is a bug with her, so you may not be hitting the high tier numbers you're looking to hit. So realize percentage differences and all of that take into effect that this character may not be at 100% just yet. So with it, that's been it. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a stay safe, peace, and enjoy. Quick little video here to get this out and just to make sure uh, you build your character in the best possible way.